Hey, what's up, visionaries? Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name's Anton, and hopefully all of you guys are having a fantastic day because today's support squad quest is from Merrick, Mark, there was one other person. But uh, this is pink, just like a pill. And before we get into this one, I do want to mention to all of you guys, if you have any suggestions for artists you want to see come back on the channel, uh, please leave them in the Discord. Um, totally free. It takes about two minutes to set up an account. Totally painless. Super simple. Link down below. Um, also, want to give a big shout out to the support squad and the Patreon. Thank you guys very much for all the support. I love you guys. Love everybody, but I really love you guys. And uh, yeah, that also funds the entire channel. So if any of you guys want to help out and support the channel, and if you have any song requests, all of our full album reactions are done uh, by the support squad as well. So if you want any of that kind of stuff, definitely consider checking out the link down below and joining the support squad if you'd like, up to you guys as always. And that's it. So let's get into pink, just like a pill. Share it. I just never knew it was by Pink. Oh my god, you hear that voice crack too? That was epic. But man, I love this song. I've only heard it like maybe tw like it's not a song that was on the like obviously I guess it was on the radio a lot because it has 176 million views. But I remember listening to it like hearing it a lot. But there's a couple times in my life where I just like this is a really good song. And secondly, um, I was thinking, I was thinking after the chorus, I was going to talk about something else, but that came up. I was like, I need to talk about that. But um, I, I find, I looked this up. This came out in 2001, right? On the misunderstood album spelled incorrectly because she's pink and she's like that. But um, 2001, pop punk was really big, right? Maybe it was a bit later. Blink-182, when was that? Sum 41, stuff like that. Anyway, I find Pink in this older material like blurs the line between pop and pop punk and punk. Like it's just, yeah, she was, I guess, part of that kind of thing. And what's incredible is her longevity, how she's a chameleon. Whatever the industry called for, she switched her sound to accommodate for. And that's, man, I didn't know she was around since 2001. It's been 20 years. She's been making bangers this entire time. Or I think like she's on the radio a lot and her songs are still big. Um, man, Pink's cool, dude. I, as I always say, I like her vibe a lot. Her, Avril Lavigne, Kelly Clarkson, they're kind of like the three sisters, the three uh, musket musketeers that are women. But anyway, let's get back into it. She has great choruses, just great voice. They were different. Maybe I should get some help. I can't stay on your life support. There's a shortage in the switch. I can't stay on your morphine because it's making me ill. I said, try to call the nurse again, but she's being a little bitch. I think I'll get out. Yeah. 
sixes in a row. I love the guitar in the background here. Wow. Wow, to quote Owen Wilson. Wow. That was awesome. Wow. Never thought I'd say that about a Pink song, but wow. Wow. That sounds so nostalgic. Wow, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, or I think her first album. Damn, she's good. She's really freaking good. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, kind of speechless. Um, hmm. That was I was gonna I was gonna say that um <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about um when it was like when the crescendo was happening which again you you guys know me with emotional crescendos I love repetition when you just really hit the point of the song the emotion of the song home and when that was going on just like all of like the darkness like the music video is amazing at making you feel like what the song was about like a, she was addicted to this relationship this dude she was losing herself and she's a good actress too wow probably because she went through it all but it's just like pink is so dark and so poppy at the same time like she was one of the few artists back then actually i can't say that they're probably in fairness i think the early 2000s was like there's a lot of darkness in pop music there's a lot of kind of starting the mental health question that was never in the forefront of our uh our society like this stuff was like a precursor to us talking about mental health it was obvious but we just never like it's like we just didn't see it it was invisible to us that kind of conversation it was still there's such still such a stigma to it but people i guess like pink were just like i don't give a shit like you know this is who i am but yeah she was just exceptional just being herself wow and why it was funny Guess what the song's about? <laughs> the thing I talk about all the time now because it's just on the forefront of my mind. But yeah, trauma bonding. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about with every video, this. Read these lyrics. I can't stay on your life support. There's a shortage in the switch. I can't stay on your morphine because it's making me itch. I said I tried to call the nurse again, but she's being a little bitch. <laughs> and I love that where I can run just as fast as I can to the middle of nowhere, to the middle of my frustrated fears. And I swear you're just like a pill. Instead of making me better, you keep making me ill. Trauma bonding. The first usually, well, essentially it's going to be every relationship you're in until you sort your shit out. And I'm speaking to myself too. It's like, I've only had trauma bonds up until this point in my life. It's the reason why I took a time off from dating. It's the reason why I went celibate for a while. Because I'm like, I just keep attracting really, they're not screwed up, but they're just addictive and you lose yourself. You always lose yourself in trauma bonded relationships. You just, you can't not. It's the hormones, it's the chemicals, it's the love drugs. For the first year and a half, you are, uh, you're an addict to that relationship. That relationship is the drug and you're an addict addict to the relationship you're an addict to what you consider love but it's not love you know as i always say it's the illusion of love you're not in love with the person you think you are because they don't even know who they are because you don't know who you are in that relationship either you fall apart you just you, you do things that you never do you sacrifice your integrity your integrity in a way that you promised to yourself you'd never sacrifice but you do and we all do it I do it. I, I can analyze this shit till I'm 90 years old, but I will still fall victim to this pattern if I don't sort my shit out. 
And that's why I've spent the last freaking year and a half just going in the trenches in my mind and my traumas and my fears, my insecurities. Cause like, man, that shit rules me. And I attract women who take advantage of that and they attract me who I take advantage of their shit just subconsciously. We all do it. And it's just, yeah, it's what we're all in. Most people, I, I'd say 95% of people you know are in trauma-bonded relationships. Not many of them are in good relationships, real love. They're in addictive relationships. And obviously it changes, hopefully, as you get older, you know, in your 30s and 40s. Well, think about it. The first, how many, mari- how many marriages does the average person go through? Three? Two or three, I think. I, I'm blanking on the actual statistic. I think it's three. But clearly the first two were probably trauma bonds, right? Trauma bonding lasts for a year, year and a half. The average relationship, the average marriage lasts two and a half years. So you go through all the hormones. Then you know each other for a year. You get divorced because you realize how fucked up that relationship is. Need I say more? So anyway, absolutely brilliant song. This was fantastic. Um, anyway, what are your top three favorite Pink songs? Let me know down below. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel for free, you guys know what to do. Give the video a like, leave a comment, silly, profound, whatever you guys want. And um, yeah, if you have any song requests for me, join the support squad. Link down below. And that's it. So I'll see all of you guys again tomorrow. I love you. Peace.